Hey everybody, welcome to Four Kids in a Farm. My name is Aaron. I'm here in our yard, just about ready to build our chicken tractor for our meat birds. A week or so ago, we got some Murray Big Red Broilers, which are essentially Freedom Rangers. They're meat birds, and we they're getting humongous. They're getting big so fast. And so we have to build a chicken tractor, which is a movable chicken coop. We want it to be sturdy, safe, predator proof, and uh, we want it to do more than just be a chicken tractor. So um, in the off season, we want it to be a pen for maybe some piglets, or in the winter, we want to be able to make it into something like a greenhouse. And so we want it to be really versatile, really strong. So we are going to be making it out of some premium material. We're going to be making out of some steel wire fencing. Those steel fences are going to be around the side so that's going to be the frame and the foundation. And then we're going to use cattle panels as the arch or the roof. We're going to be using some wood elements in there, some hinge elements. And so I've got everything that I think I need from the hardware store. Um, we got a few lengths of lumber that I want to be using for perches and stuff for the chickens. And so we think this is going to be really cool. So hang with us. If it's your first time here, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that notification bell. So you're notified every time we have another video. We watched dozens of videos of people building chicken tractors and coops and kind of took little bits and pieces of that and put it into what we need on our farm. This is going to be able to fit 30 meat chickens in it. And so we want to be able to get them on grass give them a happy, healthy life. And as we get to move them through that chicken tractor, they'll amend our soil, they'll add nitrogen to it. So we're excited to get this going in a pasture-like way. Let's get to it before it gets too hot out here, which it's almost too hot. Okay guys, we're kind of at a half time. We're about to put the cattle panels over and as the roof. I just wanna show you what we've done so far. So um, on the back, I put this piece of wood because I wanna use the ends here as like hangers for the water buckets when I put the water in here for the chickens. And so that's on purpose. I just wanted to give this a little bit more structure as well, where we're moving it to make sure it stayed square. So we just put these through the ends here like this, these, these little squares are perfect size for a two by four. So eventually we'll put a two by four all the way through in the middle so that they can perch on it. And then we just use these Simpson ties to make sure that it stayed connected to the fence. And this gives it a lot more security, especially when we're moving it um, as a unit on new grass. I don't want it going out of square and things. And so uh, we put that up. It's real sturdy, real awesome so far. Going to get the boys because we've got to hold this cattle panel to the sides. We just need lots of hands in order to keep this in place while we secure it to the rest of it. So far, it's working really well. Okay guys, we got wise and we finally moved this thing to the shade. It's like 10 degrees cooler, but it's just a little bit nicer. So I just wanted to review. Um, we zip tied this PVC pipe to the cattle panels and that's gonna stay secure. Here we are at the front of the coop. Uh, we did put this little latch on. It opens pretty smooth. 
it's just on the gravel right now. This is the coop from the inside so far. And it's pretty sturdy. I'm not going to hang on that, but nothing that's going to get up there. I shouldn't challenge my kids on that, but nothing's going to really bend this. I'm putting a lot of weight. So we can hang things from here. We can hang lights from here. We can probably hang feeders. I, I still don't know what the feeder situation is, but this is all a work in progress. Like all the ideas in my mind, all the things that I got to make this, as you're putting it together, you find out things that you're lacking or that you should have done differently. So we're gonna fix that all tomorrow. But um, one of the real things that are cool is this is gonna be a perch bar, or what do you call that? A roost. For the chickens um, I didn't want to make it too high off the ground because uh, at one point they're gonna get kind of they're gonna be fatties so I'm thinking that this is a pretty good height it doesn't matter really because it's movable we put these notches in here in the end and I mean I'm sitting on this and it's taking all my weight I'm not gonna tell you how much I weigh though we saw this idea on one of the chicken coop builds uh the hoop coop build from living tradition homestead and this is a really really good idea and so we kind of stole that from them so <laughs> go ahead and go over there tell them we stole their idea they are a fantastic channel so if you don't watch them they're very kind and are really really good teachers so yeah go tell them four kids in a farm said hi and give them a pat on the back for sure give them a thumbs up subscribe to them if you haven't subscribed to them so so far that's where we're at we do still have the tarp to put up and then we've got to figure out uh, some chicken wire on this side as well so it's perfectly sealed and then we can finally move those chickens in so honestly i was hoping that this would go up in one day <laughs> um, but life gets in the way i uh, gotta take care of some other things so we're gonna call it a day for today and then we'll finish this up tomorrow so don't go anywhere okay good evening guys day two here on the chicken tractor build um Hi, Diddy. Hi, Bobby. He's a good dog. Um, so my job today is going to go around. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. Oh, you got it. So my job today is I'm going to take uh, some of this leftover chicken wire and go around the sides at least. Uh, well, probably going to go all the way up. It's that size. I'm going to put, I'm going to attach it with zip ties. Uh, this is just to make sure that little paws of cats or raccoons and stuff don't reach through. We've already got the like the two by four gaps in there that'll hold bigger predators at bay. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go around all the sides with this stuff. Um, gonna hold it together with zip ties on there for now, just because I've got a little tool that's coming from Amazon in the next day or two that's gonna make it a little bit more permanent. It'll put little metal rings. Um, and attach it there so for now we want to get these birds in the tractor having a fun life on pasture as soon as possible so anyway i'm gonna use this I'm gonna wrap it around we'll get that going just now And I'm making sure it goes all the way to the ground so that we're kind of covering any chance of something sneaking out underneath the bottom. 
or into the coop from the bottom. Okay. Okay, so we got the tarp on. I misjudged a little bit. I figured this would go off like a couple feet below here, <laughs> which it definitely does not. So I just had to order another tarp. So this is eight foot square. So I figured that if I got an eight by 10, it would make it all the way to down to give them some wind protection down here, but it does not. So, oh well. Um, I'm probably going to have to put some type, type of wire, just tuck it in here for now uh, just to make sure that predators can't get in because we definitely want to get the chicks in here today. They're getting so big for that uh, brooder. We definitely want to get them in here ASAP. Okay, this went up better than I thought. Um, I'm going to wait for that tool to come from D-Wall to connect a little bit more of this wire. Uh, it didn't make it as far up as I wanted to. Um, we'll put it up a little bit more here and connect it with those bullnose. I think that's what they called. It's like the middle, middle clip tool that you connect wire with. Uh, I'll put it right here. That's what that's what I'm trying to say for our purposes. It's probably going to be far enough for now, but it's becoming uh, a uh, <laughs> a race against time. We want to get those chickens on pasture, um, so we're going to go inside, do a little bit of schoolwork, um, and get back out here. And we are ready to move those chickens and their food and their water out here so that they can be on grass 24/7. Okay, the time has come to move those chicks into the tractor and see how they do. We gotta get them out of that brooder. <laughs> Poor chicken. Poor chickens. <laughs> they got big so quick. Usually we'd have baby chicks in that brooder. We would have 30 baby chicks in that brooder for like a week longer. But these guys just, they grow so stinking fast. <laughs> That's the shoe. guys we finally got them moved on that grass uh, not a lot of grass here we want to keep this right in front of the house so we can kind of visualize whenever we want what's going on so a lot of stuff we still need to do we need to build a water for this thing we need to obviously build a feeder for this thing because they are almost outgrowing those two feeders that we're feeding them out of so Lots of stuff to do. We've got to rewrap this. We've got to put new wire on it in some places, but right now it is predator proof as far as we know. So <laughs> hopefully we don't get any surprises there. So this is a little bit heavy. So we're also probably going to have to get some type of wheels on this thing. So that's all coming in the future. So make sure you like, this video make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can follow us along 
and we are really uh, excited to be butchering our own chickens here in about eight weeks, eight to ten weeks. So that's crazy. I know we've never had something we've grow never, that fast. Yeah, and them just being in that brewery, like they're growing so fast, I'm just amazed. Seems like just yesterday these were little fuzzy chicks that would fit in the palm of your hand. So, all right, guys. We'll see you next time.